Hello and welcome. My name is Lucas Lechuga and I'm your host of MiamiRealEstate.tv. Today we're at Baccarat Residences, Miami. In a bit, we're going to be meeting with VP of Sales, Arlise Morales, and she's going to give us an overview and talk about pricing and availability and all the amenities and the wonderful finishes at Baccarat Residences. Well, Arlise, thank you for having me here at the Baccarat Sales Gallery. Thank you so much for stopping by, Lucas. It turned out beautifully. Yes, yes, I'm it's very beautiful. Impressed. Thank Great project. Finally, finally yes. you're here. We're I know, here. I've been waiting for you to stop by. And then, yes, we finished this beautiful model room up here of Bacara. Um, mm -hmm. And as we were discussing, Bacara, um, it's the, the newest addition to the skyline of Brickell. It's been developed by one of the biggest developers of, uh, of Florida, which is Jorge Perez, um, mm -hmm. the leader of, of Related Group. And um, the location is very strategic because it's, it's in the starting, what is considered, what is Brickell, right next to downtown. Um, um, and it's an oasis in this mm -hmm. area uh, where we are located because we're surrounded by water. We have 300 uh, linear feet of water. Um, so our views are going to be spectacular. Um, it's a building that has 360 residents, only six residents per floor. Okay. All of them flow through. Mm -hmm. So all my residents are going to have the kitchen and living, living room and dining room with the master bedroom facing the water. Okay. And then in the west side of the property, you're going to have other bedrooms. So every single unit at Bacara, it's going to have views to the water, which is very beautiful. And you have units on the lower floors along the river as well, Yes, right? yes, yes. I'm going to have 27 river flats. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are going to be uh, duplex, uh -huh. um, duplex, duplex, 19 foot ceilings, two stories. Wow. And they're going to have another ones that are going to be uh, split for plan, one story, 13 foot ceilings. And the units at the towers are going to be 10 foot ceilings, all of them with private elevators. Okay, so you talked about location a little bit ago. And you're talking about how this is kind of like the beginning of Brickle. Mm -hmm. A lot of people always ask me, like, where does Brickle start? And yeah. End? And I always tell them, like, right after the Brickle Bridge. Exactly. That, that's where it opens up. And that's exactly where this is going to be That's exactly where it's going to be located. That's it's correct. It's right at the, uh, the mouth of the Miami River? Or exactly, the Miami River. Mm -hmm. And remember that right in front of us, we have the Miami Circle, mm -hmm. which is an ecological site, and it's created a park. So there's two great benefits about it. Uh, first of all, you have a green area in front mm -hmm. of your building, which you know that is not very common to mm -hmm. have that on Brickell. And the second, that your views would always be there. They're not going to be compromised because you cannot build in that archaeological site. I'm glad you brought up the green space uh -huh. and parks because that's one thing, that's one drawback about Brickell is that there really isn't any green space besides mm -hmm. Miami Circle Park. Exactly. So, you have not only Miami Circle Park, but on the other side of Icon Brickle, you have another park. We have another park. On the uh, south side of Icon Brickle. Yeah, that's so correct. So you have two right across the street. That's correct. That's correct. Which, again, it's unheard of in Brickle. There's very, very tiny parks, and a lot of people complain about the lack of green space, so mm -hmm. you definitely won't have to worry about it. That's that correct. Here. And if you know the area that you know already, you know that we have the best restaurants walking distance. Mm -hmm. We have the movie theater in downtown. We yep. have the supermarket. We have the Brickell City Center. So Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of everything. And inside yep. the building, oh my God, the amenities, it's amazing. Amazing all the amenities that we have. Yeah, the amount of restaurants within walking distance is really, really incredible. Yes, it's, yes, it's, yes, it's, it is. It's impressive. Yes, it is. Um, so as far as the composition of the units, how many bedrooms? So we have from one bedrooms to five bedrooms. Um, um, all my, my one bedrooms has a den. Okay. All my two bedrooms also has a den. Um, most of them has three full bathrooms, so you can actually can convert it into okay. a third bedroom in the event that you need that. Mm -hmm. And then I have four bedrooms and my five bedrooms will be then the penthouses. And how many square feet are the one bedrooms? The one bedroom, 1346. Well, those are square, big. Yeah, Very 1346. Big. Mm -hmm. And then my two bedroom starts from um, 1547 will be the smallest one, which mm -hmm. is a nice size. And the biggest one is 1935. Wow. And then my three bedrooms is around 3000. And the uh, four bedrooms are around the 4,000 square feet. Okay. And mm -hmm. how many penthouses do you have? The penthouses, we actually have around eight, and we should have like three available right three now. Three available mm -hmm. for sale. Nice. Yes. That's, you guys are doing very well with Yes, sales. we're doing very well. We're 90% sold at this time. 
Okay, so let's talk about the site, and you mentioned about the historic yeah. Miami Circle across the street. Mm -hmm. Here at 444 Brickell, or like the, the site that where Bacara is going to be built, the yes. Bacara residences, that is, they, while they were excavating or while they were digging and starting construction, about a year ago, they found some ancient artifacts. Uh -huh. And that was kind of a concern of some buyers, like, is this project going to get built? Is it not going to get built? Yeah. So can you elaborate on that? Yeah. There was a mis uh, misunderstanding with uh, what's, what was happening in the lot. Um, um, when Jorge Perez bought the land, he already knew that all this area mm -hmm. in the mouth of the river is an archaeological area. So every single time a developer is going to build in this area, they have to do a study of the soil and they have to do a digging that is very special. Mm -hmm. He spent like 20 million in digging the whole, the whole place, like very careful mm -hmm. not to destroy yeah. anything. And yes, they, they, they had some findings. There were some, 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 some pieces from the Indians. There were some bones, some mm -hmm. animals. And they removed everything carefully. And uh, it was brought to the attention um, um, that they were thinking of designating maybe the area as an archaeological site and stop mm -hmm. the construction. A historic. Exactly. But mm -hmm. it was a mis misunderstanding because really there's nothing down there to preserve. Yeah. Everything that was supposed to be preserved, it's already out. Mm -hmm. And what we have in our land is limestone. Yeah. So there's no really nothing to preserve And I there. think a big concern was from, from the Native Americans at least that perhaps there were tombs or burial sites uh -huh. there and yeah, they, they yeah, didn't yeah. find anything there. Like that. No, they were not there. They were not there. And every single piece that uh, it was found from the Tequesta Indians, they took it away. Mm -hmm. And now there's going to be exhibit. Uh, there's going to be museums. We're talking to the Summon Universities. Uh, and Jorge Perez is planning to expose them also as well. Mm -hmm. So they're working on that. So yes, we're fleeing Creole to, to start um, building the, the project. And by summer, we should be ready to start going up and be ready by 2026. 2027. 2026. Oh, 26. Yeah, oh, 2026. Nice. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so there was a recent meeting, and the Miami, the city of Miami, cleared it and yeah, said, "Yeah, they dismiss. They dismiss it. That's great." Mm -hmm. And so they're going to start going vertical. When do when do you expect? It should be somewhere in summer. Okay, in summer. In summer. When they finish, because they haven't finished the digging yet. Uh -huh. When they finish doing that, then they're going to give us permission to start coming up. Okay. Tower number two, which um, in the same lot that we are, yep. we're going to have three different independent towers. Okay. So tower number two already broke ground, which is next to Bacara. Mm -hmm. And then Bacara is going to be the next one. And then the third phase, then that one's going to be announced soon. Got it. Mm -hmm. So Bacara residence is tower one. It's tower one. The, the one the, we have that a broke ground is tower two. Tower two, which is another residential mm -hmm. property that has nothing to do with Bacara. Mm -hmm. And then tower three is going to be the hotel, the Bacara hotel. That is completely independent from the residence as well. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about finishes. Um, mm -hmm. How... How high are the ceilings? How how deep are the balconies? Yes, well, every single unit of the rest of the residents of the of the building are going to be ten foot ceilings, mm -hmm. right? When you go to the river flats, they're going to be nineteen foot ceilings if it's a duplex, and thirteen foot ceilings if it's the single unit. Okay. Okay. And uh, every single unit also is going to be completely finished. However, the developer is giving options to the clients so they can pick their actual finishes. We have seven different type of floors wow. that the clients can pick. Nice. We have some marble. We have porcelain. We also have woods. Mm -hmm. Also, the kitchens are designed by Meyer Davis and curated all by Bacara. Mm -hmm. And you can also pick the stone that you can use in the counter. Um, yeah. The cabinets. You can change the colors mm -hmm. and, and the glass of the, of the cabinets. You can change that as well. Also, in the master bedrooms, mm -hmm. um, the closet is going to be included, and you can also pick uh, the choice of the, of the color Fantastic. as well. Mm -hmm. And as far as availability and pricing goes, what do you have remaining? Okay, so right now we um, sold out all the one bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So what we have are the two bedrooms starting in around the two millions. Okay. Um, the three bedrooms are starting in the 3.5s. The four bedrooms are starting in the 4.5s, and mm -hmm. then the penthouse is starting in the 6.8s. Okay. And mm -hmm. do any of the penthouses, are they upper penthouses with rooftops? Yeah, we have lower penthouses starting in the 6.8, and then we have the higher penthouses, the upper penthouses, that is going to be one floor, which is going to okay. be the entire unit. And then when you go to the second floor, you're going to have the terrace with mm -hmm. the pool, with the summer kitchen, mm -hmm. and some other lounge area for the residents. And those are starting in 16 million, 16.9 million. Great. So right now we're sitting mm -hmm. in a model 
residents. Yes. Can you give us a tour and show yes, us the Yes, of course. Finishes? Of course. Let's, let's, let's do that. So show me what you have. All right. So here we are in the kitchens that are designed by Meyer Davis and curated by Baccarat. And the developer is going to give you choices that you can pick from the stone, that okay. you can pick on the counter, okay? Um, all the appliances are going to be Wolf and Soup Zero, mm -hmm. and you can also pick the cabinet, the color, the color of the cabinet. So what types of stone options are there? Okay, so we're going to have quartz side, mm -hmm. and we're going to have granite. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the appliances that you're seeing over here are going to be completely included on the, on the unit. All of them are going to have a uh, wine cooler. Depending on the size of the unit, mm -hmm. it's going to be the full size. So it's going to be the low size. Um, this is, for example, the one for the structure for the <clears throat> the vent mm -hmm. for the O1 line, which is my one my my four bedroom. I have that. Right. In my, in my place, yeah. Yeah, it works well. Very nice, right? Yeah. So Wolf and Sub Zero. Yeah, Wolf and Sub Zero. Mm -hmm. We have a mm -hmm. steam oven. We're not using microwave, we're using steam oven. Okay. Right? Which is the new thing. Mm -hmm. This is dishwasher? That's the dishwasher, it's right over here, and this will be the oven, right over okay. here on this side. It's the oven. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. And you mentioned earlier about the ceiling mm -hmm. heights. How high are they going to be again? Yeah, so the ceiling heights are going to be 10 foot ceilings in the, uh, in the tower units. Okay. And when you go to the river flats, we're going to have 19 foot ceilings on the duplex, and then we're going to have 13 foot ceilings on the single units. Okay? okay. All my units also, the AC is going to be linear, the linear mm -hmm. AC that I'm showing you here in the showroom. All my walls are going to be completely white. However, this might be an option, this molding okay. mm -hmm. might be an option for an upgrade. Also, the lighting system and the sound system might okay. be an option for an upgrade as well that eventually we're going to be offering. And I believe you mentioned off camera there might be options for like the chandeliers in certain rooms. And that's correct. That's correct. So Baccarat, it's going to be giving us a list of different items mm -hmm. uh, because they really want to encourage the buyers to have pieces of Baccarat inside. Um, so they might give us preference price for these items for the buyers. Fabulous. Okay. And now here we're coming to the master bedroom. Very important to mention, Lucas, that every single master bedroom that I have a Baccarat always is going to be facing the water. So you're always going to nice. have a beautiful view to the water. And also all my master bedrooms are going to be completely finished in the closet. And also I'm going to give you options so you can see the closet. Okay. And okay. these are polyform, correct? So these are closets that are uh, designed also by Meyer Davis. These are Ital class, uh, mm -hmm. Italian closets. And I'm also going to give you options so you can pick the color. Oh, one thing I wanted to ask yeah. you before we go into the master bath, the, the terrace depth. Yeah. So it's going to be eight foot deep. Eight foot deep. Eight foot deep, and the, and the rail is going to be completely seamless. So it's going to have like mm -hmm. an infinity okay. um, aspect of it. When you come into the unit, it's going to look like there's no balcony, actually. And not only will people have the water view, but people that aren't local to Miami, you also have the sunrise view. Oh, yes, you have the sunrise. Well. That's correct. Great. That's correct. That's okay. correct. And, the master and here bath. we come to the master bathroom. I mean, the master bathroom, you're always going to have the double sink, mm -hmm. privacy on the toilet. The shower separated from the top, you're always going to have a Roman top in all your master bathrooms as well. And it's going to be finished just the way that you're seeing right over here. Very elegant. Gorgeous. Yeah, very elegant. Wow, those finishes, very impressive. Fantastic, right? Yeah, very, they came out very nice. Yeah, beautiful. So, Besides the finishes, which are remarkable, tell me about the building amenities. Oh my God. I think that's one of the best parties, all the amenities. You know that Jorge Perez in every single building mm -hmm. he does, he's very impressed with all the amenities that he does. And Bacaray was not going to be the exception. Um, and I'm going to start like from the bottom of the building. Um, one of the things that we have that you're going to love, we have a pet spa. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, so we have a pet spa in the building. Pets are in front of the family. Mm -hmm. uh, so it just makes sense that the developers now are doing places mm -hmm. uh, where you can service your animals. So it's going to be a 1,000 square feet that we're going to have on wow. the ground floor. And then when we go up to the lobby, uh, the lobby is going to be divided in three different rooms. Oh, and wow. each room is going to have a set of elevators that is going to take you to your unit. Okay, because mm -hmm. remember that we have six units per floor. So mm -hmm. it's going to be two per lobby. So the first lobby is going to be the actual reception, and then the second lobby is going to be a gourmet market and cafe, okay. where you can buy your wine, your cheese, your fruit, caviar, champagne, anything gourmet, you can buy it there. And yes. also you can go for breakfast, because it's going to be open from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., all right? Beautiful. So that's the second lobby. The third lobby is going to be an art gallery. Why? Jorge Perez. Mm -hmm. Jorge Perez is going to have 1,000 square feet, where he's going to be rotating his personal collection, which 
it's going to be very exclusive. Okay, mm -hmm. and then we go all the way up to the 12th floor and we're going to find a spa. So uh, Baccarat, New York, they opened the, the first spa from La Mer Creams from France. Okay. And they're going to come and curate our space to do um, the, the treatment room, beauty salon, uh, men's room, um, hammam, sauna, steam rooms, lockers, showers. And remember, all of this is exclusive only for the residents. The okay. hotel, they're going to have their own amenities. Oh, so wow. all of this is for only the, the guests. For the, for the residents. And in this same floor, you're also going to have the Cleats Playground, which is going to be like a French carnival with an actual carousel. Oh, wow. That is going to like be... a miracle round. Exactly. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when you go uh, one more floor up, in the 14th floor, which is the platform, outside we're going to have the pool that is going to be infinity. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, fully furnished and fully serviced. It's going to be like a hotel because oh. SH Hotel, which is the brand uh, mm -hmm. that was created by Starwood Capital, is the one that managed the hotels. So they want to keep the same consistency in the service. For, so for mm -hmm. that reason, SH Hotel is the one that is going to be managing the actual residences. So oh. one of the services that they're going to give is on the pool. So when you mm -hmm. get to the pool, you're going to have an attendant that is going to bring you your tower. You have the waiters and the waiters around if you want something to drink, something to eat. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a crystal house, which is the orangery, and it's going to be completely furnished. And it's like an event space that you can do a brunch, you can do a breakfast, you can do a dinner, very romantic. Mm -hmm. We're also going to have a pool bar that is going to be oh. open from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. And then when we go a little bit up, we're going to find a gym that people from anatomy mm -hmm. um, they're going to take one full floor that we fix six units. It's going to okay. become a gym. And it's gonna have it's classes. All private. Yeah, it's gonna have classes of Pilates, yoga, spinning, and all the machine and all the weights. Nice. And then when we go one more floor up, we're gonna find the um, um, uh, oh inside inside the building. We have different rooms like a theater room. Mm -hmm. um, we're also gonna have a billiards room. Okay. We're gonna have another bar that is the the grand salon. That mm -hmm. is a bar that you can go and have your cocktail. Also, you can rent it if you want to do an activity. And, uh, and also, on the 39th floor, I'm going to have the Baccarat Lounge. And the Baccarat Lounge is going to be in a bar that we're going to open at 6 p.m. That yeah. is going to be for happy hour and appetizer. And by the side, we're also going to have the business center. So if you want to work mm -hmm. here in the building, you can go to the 39th floor, and we're going to have some event spaces. You have, like, a conference place, a meetings place, and then mm -hmm. you have an open place that you just can sit down, like a co-working space. So the lounge that's open to the public or just residents? No, everything is completely private. Yep, yeah, everything is completely private for the Baccarat residents. Another thing that we're going to have, remember that we're in Miami and when people think about Miami, they think on the beach. Mm -hmm. So since we are going to be operated by SH Hotels, SH Hotels, our sister property is the one hotel. Okay. So we have an agreement with them. So every single owner of Baccarat is going to receive one year membership so they can enjoy the facilities of the one hotel beach club. Oh, so nice. for one year, you can use all the amenities. And after the year, if you want to become a member, you can do so. And you're going to receive a discount for being a Baccarat owner. So you'll be able to get transferred there and have you can, beach service. You can go there. You can go there and you're going to harass all the, all the beach service right there. Okay. Beautiful. Another thing that we're going to offer, since the river, and we're located by the river, mm -hmm. um, we're going to have 300 linear feet by our side where we don't have a marina. It's not going to be a marina that we're going to assign because we're not going to have enough spaces for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's going to be more like pick up and drop off. Maybe you can leave your boat overnight. But okay. we're also going to have the service of a water taxi. Oh, nice. You know that the river is becoming a destination itself. Mm -hmm. The river used to be only commercial back in the days. Yep. And now they're doing restaurants, they're doing residences, they're doing yep. hotels, they're doing shopping. And it's called the Miami River District. And we're doing what is called the Miami River Walk. Okay. Every single developer, when he's building by the river, they have to do a public space that eventually is going to be connected. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to walk 5.4 miles Wow. down to the river to all the activities. So we're going to provide the service of a water taxi. In the event that you don't have a boat or you don't want to take your boat or you don't want to drive, you just can jump in the water taxi and go three miles around the area. Mm -hmm. Or you can do the same thing in a town car because we're going to have the same uh, service. You want to go to Brickell City Center, shopping, to downtown, you can go in the town car of Baccarat and they can take you around. One question that yes. I had back when you were talking about the hotel lobby, I believe you mentioned that there's, is there two elevators per unit? It's going to be two elevators per unit. That's yes. something that I think is super important because there's mm -hmm. buildings that have private elevators yes. which are fantastic, but if it goes down, that's exactly. And you're this is the, and this is the reason why Jorge Perez this way yeah, because in other smart. buildings, in other buildings that you know that he has, mm -hmm. he has put one per unit. Yep. So in this one, we have two units. So he put the elevators in the middle. 
one's supposed to be for this one and one's supposed to be for the neighbor. Yep. But then he gave access to both for the same reason that you're giving. If one shuts down, then you can use the neighbor's one. Okay. All right, so it's gonna mm -hmm. be two that can access two units. But when you go from out from your elevator, you go to your private lobby okay. that nobody else can access. Got it. Okay. Yeah, no, that's super important because there's a lot of buildings or a lot of residents in other buildings that complain. They have the private elevator, yes. but if one goes down, Sometimes they go down for a week, yeah. you know, and then and you're using the service elevator. You have to use the service elevator. And then That's you, correct. The, the, the contractors are using the service elevator. Exactly. So during the day, it's like a long it's, wait. Yes. So it's, yes, very yes, important. Yes, yes, very inconvenient. Yes. Fantastic. So the amenities that you listed, very, very impressive. Yes. How much is it going to cost residents in HOA mm -hmm. Okay, so the, resident, the, the HOA is going to be 97 cents a square feet. Okay. And that okay. includes, yeah, it's super good. Mm -hmm. That includes water, cable, internet, structure insurance, and all the service and amenities that SH Hotel is going to provide for all the, the residences. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for those that are investors, what are the rental restrictions going to okay. be? Okay, as you can see, um, this is not an Airbnb candidate. Yeah. Uh, it's more refined than that. But yes, the developer is giving uh, choices for the investors that want to rent their properties. Mm -hmm. um, you can do three times a year okay. will be the maximum contracts that you can put. And the minimum will be... 30 days. Okay. So we're giving some flexibility so you that can is, rent, but at the same time, controlling the amount of people that goes in and out. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is a perfect scenario for an investor, it perfect is. scenario for a second home buyer, because yep. they can enjoy the property. And when they come for vacation, they're going to feel in vacation because they're going to be treated with all the services of five star building. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, when you're renting the property, you're renting a full service building. So you have the best of both worlds right there. Let's discuss the Bacara brand. Mm -hmm. So as far as I know, yes. there's only one hotel, right? There's in New York. Yes, the one in New York. And that's hotel and residence. That's correct. So the brand is uh, 258 years old. Mm -hmm. It comes from a region in France that the name is Bacara. That's why the, the name of the of the of the brand is the most uh, luxurious and prestigious crystals in mm -hmm. the world. So in 2015, they finished the first uh, building, uh, which is the Bacara New York, that in the bottom part, they have the hotel, and on the top, they have 60 residents. Mm -hmm. That's completely sold out. Um, and in difference of the one that we're going to have here, mm -hmm. um, here we're going to have two separate towers. Yep. So we don't share any of the amenities. Mm -hmm. But Bacara is not going to stop there. So they chose New York as the first place for the residents and then they pick Miami for the second mm -hmm. but then they're going to be opening in Dubai as well okay. residents and mm -hmm. then hotels they're planning to open in Saudi they're planning to open in Rome mm -hmm. they're planning to open in, in Dubai as well and the brand is going to stay boutique maybe like 11 cities are going to be hotels okay. and maybe like five cities are going to have the residents so it's going to be very very exclusive beautiful mm -hmm. And how will parking work in the building? So every single unit at Bacara at least is going to have one parking space assigned. And okay. this is very important to mention because we will be coming to New York here. Mm -hmm. The parking is a luxury. Yeah. And I believe we're one of the last buildings that are going to have assigned parking spaces. So at least one parking mm -hmm. space is going to be assigned. Depending on the size of your unit, you might have more assigned parking spaces. Okay. But in the event that you need to park another car and you don't have an assigned parking spaces, you can use the facilities of the valet parking that mm -hmm. is going to be available. Complimentary or charge or they've yeah, made complimentary. It determined. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Nice. Okay. Well, I think you covered pretty much everything. Thank you again for being on the Thank show. You so I really Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you or anyone you know have been interested in purchasing a unit at Bacara Residences, be sure to contact me, Lucas Lechuga. You can contact me via email at lucas at miamicondoinvestments.com and also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below.